Hey kids, John here. I wanted to talk a little bit about overdoing it. As trumpet players, we often overdo it. Just like food, trumpet can be overdone. You overeat, you're kind of, oh, oof. but you're kind of satisfied. You're kind of okay with the whole thing until the next day when you're like going, oh. And in the trumpet world, it's like, oh, oh man. Oh, and you just want to go, no thanks. Okay. Places where we overdo it, when we try new equipment, we tend to overdo it when we when we get something that really works for us, we're super happy, so that day we go nuts, and the next day it's like, oh, it doesn't work so good. Maybe it's because you overdid it. You played for three hours instead of a hour and a half, you know, or when conductors are like, more, more, and, you know, it's great that they want to put the gas down and ride the big Cadillac, woo, it's fun. But they're using your gas, okay? They're using your gas. Don't hurt yourself in a rehearsal. You know, if you're in a marching band or you're in a drum and bugle corps, I wouldn't leave my performance in the rehearsal. I'd have a good performance and I'd be conservative in the, in the rehearsal. I don't care how much the... Yeah, okay. You want... Really? No. That works for me. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself in marching band. You're not protecting the village from intruders. You're playing trumpet. And if you want to play trumpet for a lifetime, you have to understand what it is to have a lifetime of playing. That means you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of this stuff. Somehow, some way, in the trumpet world, we don't want to equate overdoing things or, or the concept of what happens here in, in the same way that it would be like, oh, you're running and you're limping. Stop running. Ah, it kind of hurt. Keep playing. Keep playing. It'll work itself out. Don't keep playing. If you start to hurt, oof. I'll be back. I don't feel good. Take a second off and reevaluate what you're doing. Don't hurt yourself. And don't continue to play once you've hurt yourself. In rehearsals, in conductors, they, they like to hear this performance every time. They love to hear it the way it's supposed to sound every time. It's a rehearsal. You're there to fix parts. You're supposed to get the general overall concept of it. But if you're rehearsing right before a gig, don't leave your performance in the rehearsal. Put your performance on the stage. Save some things. Don't overdo it. I see a lot of posts and some questions about, well, I overdid it in marching band. Well, don't. Just stop doing that. Please. Please. Okay? Don't play so loud. Just play relaxed. That's fine. Why? Useless. Okay? Music. Think music. Always play musically. Okay. Say you're on a hardcore gig and it's like... And you gotta play that line like five times. Well, don't play... I'm done. It's like you're floorboarded. Why are you floorboarded? That's going to screw your chops up. Don't be floorboarded. You got to back off. I can do it now. Why? Because I played more conservatively. I pulled some of that volume back. I pulled some of that energy back. And if you're seriously on a gig and you've got a ton of tunes that are like that, 
You can always take it down three times and up two times. Always think conservative because if you trash yourself that day, what do you got tomorrow? What do you got the next day after that? How many times are you going to do this to yourself? Learn to play conservatively. Learn to figure out how to take whatever it is that you're doing and not do it to the point where you hurt yourself. Now, let's get to, I overdid it. Ugh, I know I overdid it. Okay, then do you have to play the next day? Let a day go by. If you hurt yourself and you've got a bum leg, do you get up and run? You let it heal. But as trumpet players, once again, we don't think the same way. We don't think that, oh, this is a physical thing. You think it's like, I don't know, like something that you can just, I ah, yeah, play right through it. Just play through it. You'll be fine. You know. Your, your leg is, is trashed. It hurts really bad to stand on. What do you got to do? You got to stretch it out. You got to get it soak it in hot water. You know, soak your leg. Take some anti-inflammatory whoa well if your chops are all messed up and sore and swollen take an anti-inflammatory you can take an anti-inflammatory especially if you know you played really hard that day or that night and you're just like oh boom take a couple of anti-inflammatories you know on the way home get some blood in that area massage this a little bit you know, do this a little bit. Get some blood back in there. So if you have to play the next day, my approach is to somehow ease into the day. Okay? One of the greatest things that works for me is not long tone. And, oh, yeah, you just need to play some long tones. Okay, you just smashed a piece of metal in your face for however long, however hard, and now you're screwed up, and now you're going to do this. They can cut off circulation. If you're hurt, there are people that are going to go, No! Don't do long tones. Maybe a couple days from now you work your way back into doing some long tones. Fine. But when you've hurt yourself, it's because you had this on you pressing in and it's too much. And now you're going to sit there with it like this. This is what I do. And I think this actually works for repairing yourself. I didn't even tongue. That's an explosion. I just want this stuff to go blah, 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 and start buzzing. Okay. I got, it, I got it to sound like something. And see how I'm talking to you? That's me resting in between. Ah. Now I got a little bit of sound. Stop. Don't play long tones. Play tones. And just try to get a nice mezzo piano sound. That's it. Don't go for volume. Go for a nice sound and comfort. And what you want to do is try and get each note that you're going to to feel as comfortable as the note you started on. So I started on a G. I wanted that F to feel comfortable. Good. And I'm going to work my way down that way and see how I'm resting. See how I am resting. Do that. The point is not the, the notes leading to the bottom note now. It's just to get there. It's a stairway. And now I'm going to, 
at the bottom of a stairway in the old days, there was a nice landing. They called it a landing, and it was a broader step. And that was the first step, and sometimes it fanned out so that people could come to the stairway from different directions, okay? So I'm landing on that bottom note. I'm just thinking about sound and playing relaxed. It's called patience. It's painful when you're young. Okay? And you're going to work your way down to a C. We're going to pretend now that I worked my way down to a C and this is where I end up. You don't want to play much longer than that. That's enough on here. Now I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away from my horn. And I'm going to stay away from my horn for two to five minutes. Because to get down to that C you probably played, you should have played for maybe about five minutes to get down there. Taking your time. Then I'm going to pick it back up and I'm going to start on the C. And I'm going to wait. For the adults out there that may have possibly spent a night overindulging, it's like the next morning. Okay, you've taken that kind of time. See, I took time between those notes. Doing this always helps to relax things. You want this stuff to be relaxed. You already screwed it down as tight as possible. You heard it. You need to relax it. You need to open it back up and let it relax. Don't play long tones. And ultimately, you're going to work your all the way down to... And if you get that F sharp nice and relaxed, once you've done those two, G to C and then C to F sharp, you put that horn down. And you walk away from the trumpet, if possible, for hours, for several hours. And then you pick it up and then do something very easy to come back into it. If you have to play that night, then you get your warm up and try and center yourself and try not to hurt yourself. If you're hurting yourself day after day after day, you're not going to have a lifetime of, of trumpet playing. You're just not. Know when you're overdoing it. Don't get sucked in by the more, more. I'm good. Don't ruin yourself because somebody's asking for more. Save it. I hope some of this helps. Take it easy, kids.